documents revealing new details in a hit and run that killed a 32 year old woman visiting her family in Fairfield. The suspect facing a judge this morning. Now, meanwhile, loved ones of the victim, Mari Morel Araujo, say she did not deserve this and they want people to remember her for the joyful person she was. To know that we won't see all the amazing things that she would have accomplished um, is again, it's just really heartbreaking. Sorority sisters of Mari Morel Araujo say they continue to remember her beautiful spirit. The 32-year-old was hit and killed on the 4th of July while walking her dog in Fairfield where she was visiting family. My client is prepared to enter pro forma not guilty please in jury election. 22-year-old Declan Codd faced a judge Wednesday accused of hitting the 32-year-old on Reading Road and leaving the scene. Police tracking him down using surveillance cameras and evidence left behind. It brings some form of resolution. It's 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 what I would consider, um, you know, maybe the first step in line of justice. According to court documents, Cott told police he was driving on Reading Road after having a few drinks on a friend's boat earlier in the day. Cott says he drove off the road near some bushes and tree and heard a loud bang, but thought he hit a tree. Police noting in the warrant the area does not have any shrubbery or branches. Police say Cott admitted to hearing of a woman killed in a hit and run in the same area and thought he may be responsible, but panicked and did not know what to do. Meanwhile, those who knew the victim say they will continue to hold on to memories of her. She was like the social butterfly, like that term is what comes to mind when I think about her and when I think about someone who was so open to exploration. And while this hurts, she's no longer here with us physically, but if we've seen anything to be true over the past week and a half is that her essence will carry on forever. Now, the suspect, Declan Cott, pleaded not guilty to charges, including evading responsibility in operating a motor vehicle resulting in death.